Hello, everybody. Welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our match reaction show. It's finished. Spain won. England nil. Spain, uh, world women's World Cup winners, world champions. Um, you know, they've been the best team in this tournament throughout. I think they've been the best team. They were very well deserved. Um, even today, I think they were the better team by far. Um, right up till the right up to the end, I think England, as many chances they created, I think Spain matched them chance for chance. In fact, they probably... Um, you know, had the more chance there, the better chances. It could have been 2 0 as well because they got a penalty against, uh, you know, which they should have converted. But even without that, I think Spain just looked um, a level above. And I think England throughout this tournament, they've kind of been, I think the Australia game was one where I think they looked quite comfortable. But other than that, they've always ridden their luck in some way, you know, you know whether it was against Nigeria with the red card, um, you know, whether it was, uh, the, uh, you know, it's just that at times, um, you know, they've looked. Even the the group stage games where they won one nil in the opening two games, it looked like they could have lost one of those um or both of them. So um they've kind of you know you know got through, they found ways to get through, get through, get through. The problem is when you come against a team that's at your level or higher than your level, you can't rely on just getting through. You need to actually show a little bit of your own class and your own quality. And I don't think they could do that. Um, there will be questions about selection. I think playing a three four one two against a team like um Spain who love to control the midfield. Was probably not the right idea from from Wigman. I think if there was a time to make it a four three three, this was the time. And I still feel that they had to, they, that you know Alatun was probably should not have started this game. Not that it should have been James. I don't think Lauren James should have started. Um, but I think and you can't really blame her as uh, Wigman much as well because the fact is that this is the team. This is the team that got them to two to got them to this stage. But sometimes in management, you've got to be ruthless. You've got to know who you're playing against. And I just feel that maybe they needed to bring in Katie Zellem or somebody else to make it a 4-3-3. Just match Spain's uh, three midfielders. And sometimes you need to do that. And maybe um, not doing that allowed Spain to control that midfield. Now, keep in mind, they only won 1-0. And some people might say it's fine margins. And it is fine margins. But if you look at those last 15, 20 minutes of that game, it just as Spain... It looked like Spain were the team that were chasing a, a win and not England because they had so much possession. They they had so they were so controlled. Um, you can't you can't legislate that by saying that playing a three four three. You know you can't have that in a game like this where you know the the team that's leading one nil in a World Cup final has total control of a game in the last 15, 20 minutes. That should never happen. Um, and it happened here because England just didn't have control of that midfield. And the reason they didn't is because they kept persisting with this, um, you know, two midfield theory. Um, you know, playing two midfielders and playing a, you know, Ella I think that was just mistake. Also, keep in mind the the European Championships quarterfinals between England and Spain. For those of you who remember last year, um, England were dominated in that game for about 80, 85 minutes. They had absolutely no answer. And I did this video as well. But I said if Spain had won that game, I would have been talking about a tactical masterclass. It was only Georgia Stanway's brilliance that actually got them back into the game and then they somehow went and won that game Spain learned their lessons from that game because I think I think when they were 1-0 up I, they started to make some defensive changes and because of that they allowed the initiative to go to England and then England went and scored even against the Netherlands they did that but they kind of sat a bit deep at 1-0 allowed Netherlands to score so today what they did was they went we're not going to give up the initiative we're going to press high we're going to keep the ball we're going to keep control we're not going to relinquish control and they learned from their mistakes. I think England probably didn't learn as much from those games where Spain were the better team. Even in that game, Spain was the better team. Had they won that game, they probably would have won the European Championships. But England, Spain learned from it. England didn't. England, I think, kind of just went, um, we'll, we'll keep it as it is. That was, you know, whatever. Um, and I think today, they allowed Spain again to take control. And once again, relying on moments of brilliance, moments of magic. That's, that doesn't mean you big games oftentimes. You need you need more than that. And I think that would be something. It would be heartbreak for Selena Wigman as well, considering she, again, has lost a World Cup final. She has lost two competitive games. Uh, one for Netherlands and one for England. And both of them, those competitive game losses have been in a World Cup final or Saturdays for her. Um, I feel for her. I feel for her. But ultimately, I think Spain deserve winners. Uh, they really uh, came into this game with a game plan. They executed it to perfection. I mean, Olga Carmona's goal was just brilliant. Cap the captain on the side as well. How often is it that a captain of a team um, scores a goal? Particularly as she did playing from, from left back. I think that is just incredible. And uh, well done to them. Well done. They've got some wonderful players. I think Spain, I'm not going to say they're going to win the next few tournaments because that's not how tournament football works. But now Spain look like they they have the nucleus of a good side that could be contenders for major tournaments for a long time to come. Doesn't mean they'll win them, but that does, but it does. You can see the number of the players that they have, the young players that are coming through, the likes of uh, Paravelo, the likes of Bonmati. They've got so many good players that are coming through and they've got, and, and there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of depth in that, in that, in that team. And I think they could, they will be contenders. 
for a long, long time to come, which is good for the women's game because you need more good teams playing at the top level. That's the only way um, interest will be built and more people take it up and more people watch it. So it's good for women's football. I mean, that's all scan consolation. The, the, the bigger picture is scan consolation for England fans, isn't it? Um, that outcomes later. But I think from Spain's point of view, they've been exciting to watch. I think that 4 0 defeat did them a lot of good going into you know the, the into knockout stages because I mean up until that point I think Spain was still pretty good but I think that loss kind of shook, kind of jarred them a little bit it forced them into making some tactical tweaks some tactical changes um, which to their credit they did um, Vilda you know changed up uh, you know he, he brought in a new goalkeeper that I think had has had an impact that people realize it or not um, he's made a couple of personnel changes as well it was a big call as well not to start Puteas in a game like this and yes he has, he has, he has resisted that he was all Puteas is struggling with an injury, but you know Australia went and got her in as soon as she was fully fit. They went and brought her in, and I think that was the wrong decision in some ways. But I think you know Vilda said, "No, I'm not going to bring in Puteas. I'm going to play the players. I'm going to play the way this is the way that has worked for us, and we've done really well in this tournament. And we're going to stick to this." That was a big call. It's big calls that that sometimes right that come that go your way or don't go your way. Maybe they lost. Vilda said, well, "Why didn't we? That didn't we give Puteas more of a chance? Why didn't she play a lot more?" But it worked here, and then that's what it is. So, so it's fine margins, as I say, in, in, in international, in, in, in top level football, it is oftentimes fine margins that define it. Um, England gave a good account of themselves, I think, throughout the tournament. I, you know, lots of injuries to contend with as well, and you've got to remember that. But ultimately, you know, excuse those, those are those excuses. When you get to this point, you've got to put on a better performance than what they did today, and, and they just just weren't at it. And maybe Spain didn't allow them to be at it, and maybe Spain knew that if. England, even when we lead against England, we give them a snip, they'll take it. So let's not give them anything. And they worked very, very hard. What I will also complain about is a play acting that I saw from Spain towards the last 10 minutes. Now, I understand why teams do it. And I understand why Spain did it. I just don't like to see it. And they kept like falling over, crying, you know. The women's game is should really, I mean, that's that's one of the that's one of the things that differentiates women from men is that they don't do that kind of stuff. But I think we're now starting to see it creep into the women's game as well. And I'm, I'm afraid that we're going to see more and more of it. Um, as the game evolves and grows, because I think you know, once 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 things get more professional, once things you know, there's more money in the game, then these kind of things start happening. Anyway, but yeah, congratulations to Spain. Well done, deserved world champions. Absolutely well played. Uh, congratulations to every Spain fan out there. Congratulations to all this, you know, the, the playing staff, the coaches of Spain. Well done, well deserved. Congratulations for England, but you know what? You didn't deserve to win on the day. It is disappointing. You can still, you know, you're still finalists, and that's something to take back and and be proud of. But ultimately, yeah, it is disappointing. Anyway, share your thoughts on the game. Uh, you know, smash like for Spain, smash like for Carmona, uh, smash like for every Spain player. Very, very well done. So smash like for them. Do subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We always appreciate the support. Getting close to 380 subscribers. So please do subscribe and uh, you know and support this channel. And of course, we're going to have a few more videos today. So it's just you'll get notified as they drop. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.